All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something neat for you guys, spray bottles. Okay, so that was a cool demonstration showing you all the different bottles that I like here in my shop. Now let's talk about them a little bit. I wanted to bring in what I believe to be the best of the best, and I also wanted to bring in a nice economical version for those of you on a budget that still want to uh, bottle up your own stuff. So let's talk about it. First off, man, the press all. It's the winner. This thing is insane. It's nice. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's big on the bottom, skinny on the top. So you're going to get that self-writing kind of deal where as long as it's somewhere near vertical, it's going to write itself and not dump over. It's made out of a cutting board style material that's strong and lasts. I've seen it all in different products that I like, like the foam cannon and other things where, man, you know it's gonna go the whole nine yards. It's got this kind of extended arm up here for a mechanical advantage on the sprayer. It's really easy to pull. Another neat thing with it, you get two sprays per pool. When you pull it in, you get a spray, and when you let it out, you get another spray. And while we're talking about the spray, when you open it all the way up, you get a stream that'll shoot clear across the garage. I've tested it, it went at least 15, 20 feet. And uh, when you close it all the way down, you get extreme atomization. If you continue to pull with that double pull uh, method, you can have a continuous stream of product coming out, which is which is really neat, especially for the larger jobs. When you're doing like a drying aid or, or you're trying to apply a good amount of product Product in a short period of time, this double pool is going to do it. Um, I found these to be really usable, really nice. And at the time of the filming, these were $16 for a 750 milliliter. I know that sounds like a lot, but you get what you pay for. I mean, that's my thought with my, all my equipment in here. If you don't want to spend the money, you're going to have to suffer with a little bit less quality product. That's just the bottom line on that. Um, I think these are worth it. I brought in six of them and they look amazing too. Look at that look. I mean, you you can just see right there when you walk into the garage you're going to walk past your presser washer all your stuff you're going to be like man that looks sick that looks sick <laughs> that's kind of my deal is i want to look at all my stuff and be happy about it and i want you guys too so think about that when you're purchasing it also i kind of go with the I would say the, the naked look here, no labels on mine because I know my products, I'm the only one working in here. But if you did want some labels, you can buy those separately and it, they pretty much have all the popular stuff that you'd put in there. But I prefer to just leave mine as is and uh, I like them just like that. 
All right, now let's talk about my economical pick. I've been using these for a real long time. These are put out by Chemical Guys. It's just a clear version bottle. It's got a decent spray head on it. And um, again, it's got a reasonable trigger pull on it. It's got infinite adjustments, although I do think that there's some left to be desired with this one. But you will see this spray head on a lot of popular products that are mid-range to high-range products. Uh, it's an upgrade from the product manufacturer bottle that you typically get. Now, with the spray head, you'll see that as I'm pulling it, it takes a little extra work. You get one pull per pull, <laughs> one spray per pull. And uh, all in all, I would say as an economical version, this will get you into the game. And at the time of the filming, this was $15 for three of them. Now this does come in two versions also. It comes in a labeled version, which has hazmats and all kinds of stuff on there, a, a spot to label it. It also has dilution ratios. And I wanna bring that up right now. Now, dilution ratios, are, you know, they're great. And everybody's always like, man, does the bottle have dilution ratios? I don't want those on my bottles because I'm going to use my measuring cup. I'm going to pour it in. It'll take me one minute, not even. And then I don't have to look at all that weird labeling on there or even all that labeling on the side of this bottle, I feel like would just detract from it. Um, so measure it once, put it in the bottle, and then you don't have to worry about the dilution calculator on the side of that no more. And you don't have to keep looking at that over and over again. So I think that these Chemical Guys bottles are a good affordable solution for those of you that wanna get the gallons and put them down into your own sprayers. You're gonna be happy with them. But eventually, if you want your garage to look good, you want your mobile uh, rig to look good, you're gonna to wanna to move on up to the bottles to show those customers that you got some nice stuff. <laughs> or show your family, your friends, whoever, or just enjoy it yourself. That's what I'm all about. I, I like all my stuff. I like looking at it, it's, it's for me. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about the IK sprayer. What do I use this for? I don't use it to apply normal products. So I use this for rinseless washes. After you pump this up, you can go ahead and get a good long run time out of this. You can apply a lot of product in a short period of time with very little effort. That's what this is all about. And a rinseless wash is perfect for that. The other thing I use these, and, and by the way, real quick, at the time of the filming, uh, this was $40 for the large version. For the small version, it's about $30. And what I use these for is extractions. You'll see me using these on the seats. They put out a nice amount of foam. It works great. I like it a lot. I've Use these on wheels and other things, small jobs that I need a lot of product where I don't want to get everything out. Um, this is perfect for that too. So all in all, the IK sprayer, it's great for putting a lot of product with a little bit of effort. That's what I use these for. And I think they're worth having a couple around the shop for sure. There are other methods out there. You can get garden sprayers from Home Depot and other things like that. But I kind of like to have uh, tools that are designed for what I'm trying to do. Um, and these fit the bill perfect for that. So let's talk about the bottles that come from the manufacturer. These are kind of cool too. You, get, you The best thing I can think to use these for is you're not really sure about the product. You buy one and I want to try it. It comes in its own bottle. I can use it and if I like it, then I can move into the gallon uh, size bottle with my own spray bottles. You can also refill these, but the reason why I'm not super interested in that is because these have a cheap spray head on them. They have multiple settings, spray, stream, and off and all of those leave something to be desired. Uh, the, they're not gonna last very long. Most people would say that these are kinda just really expendable. You're gonna use them a couple times and, and throw them away, and it's wasteful. And just to put it in perspective, uh, a gallon of this is $37 at the time of the filming, and a pint is $15. So you can do the math and, and, and figure it out. You're kinda paying for labeling, you're paying for um, packaging, it, it's just not gonna last. And to be economical, you move up into these gallons and you're gonna get some good economy there. Another thing to think about is other products like the Express Interior Cleaner or any other cleaner. You might wanna dilute it down. In order to dilute the product down from the gallon form, you're gonna need a spray bottle. And um, that's another way to get some great economy out of it is uh, to dilute down into your spray bottles and then you have them. And not only that, but you can have multiple dilutions. So that's my thoughts on my spray bottles that I like and and I know there's some of you right now that are wondering why didn't you show the the bead maker bottle spraying you know what here you go
yeah, that did an okay job. It's, you know, it's not great, but it did an okay job. All right, so tell me down below, what type of bottles are you using? Now I know that there's 50 different models out there all the way from, you know, spray bottles from Costco all the way up to the nicest ones like the press alls and everything in between. I just wanted to bring you guys in the best of the best and a great economical version that I've tested now for several years and I can say is decent. It's decent on the Chemical Guys one. Not great. Um, but all in all, I appreciate you watching the video. Let me know what you think down below and like all the products I like. And these press alls are nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.